In 1982, there was one SAT question that every single student got wrong. Here it is. In the figure above, the radius of circle A is one-third the radius of circle B. Starting from the position shown in the figure, circle A rolls around circle B. At the end of how many revolutions of circle A will the center of the circle first reach its starting point? Is it A, three halves, B, three, C, six, D, nine halves, or E, nine? SAT questions are designed to be quick. This exam gave students 30 minutes to solve 25 problems, so about a minute each. So feel free to pause the video here and try to solve it. What is your answer? I'll tell you right now that option B, or three, is not correct. When I first saw this problem, my intuitive answer was B because the circumference of a circle is just 2 pi r, and since the radius of circle B is 3 times the radius of circle A, the circumference of circle B must also be 3 times the circumference of circle A. So logically, it should take 3 full rotations of circle A to roll around circle B. So my answer was 3. This is wrong. But so are answers A, C, D, and E. The reason no one got question 17 correct is that the test writers themselves got it wrong. They also thought the answer was 3. So the actual correct answer was not listed as an option on the test. Mistakes like this aren't supposed to happen on the SAT. 